this is Steven Silva and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. So today's topic is about just uninspired drawing days. What are uninspired drawing days? Uninspired drawing days are a day like today that is happening for me, yes. It happens to everyone and anyone and as I've been feeling this today, I thought, you know, I'm going to record my art talk today because I want to talk about it as I'm going through it and experiencing it so that it just I'm not just talking about something that happened a week ago and trying to recall the actual feeling of what's going on. So what the uninspired joint is, is it happens. Um, again, it happens to the best of us from time to time. You don't know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, but all of a sudden what's happening for me is I have my list of things that I have to do. I know what I need to do. I got my day's work cut out for me and uh, got it regimented. But as I'm working on it, I'm just, whether I'm working on a specific project and I'm just feeling uninspired, that, uh, that being uninspired could come from um, all of a sudden receiving revisions and notes on work that you're doing and you're just like, oh man, come on, you know, and that's the sort of feeling. So that can lower it down. It could also be built up just from starting to think about um, the other things that you need to have uh, to do in your mind, even though I write it down, I know what I need to do, but still sometimes it creeps in to you and kind of takes over. So you're starting to, I'm working on this, but now I'm thinking, oh, the time's running out. I gotta be somewhere at five o'clock. And I'm just like trying to, trying to squeeze it in. And before you know it, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. And so I'm just going through these these moments so that the un, the uninspired action comes from you just feel like you do just want to not do anything. You do go, and I don't want to say it's a depression or anything else like that because that might be going just a little bit um, too far and not to say that you can't or won't be depressed um, at different stages because creativity is it's a strange beast and only the people i think who are in a sense artistically inclined and not just talking about art i'm talking about music i'm talking about dance i'm talking about writing i'm talking about the whole broad of your mind is very active creatively because people who don't have um, those type of artistic positions, roles in their life, they go through their frustrations, they go through their depressions because oftentimes they're wanting to do something more than what they're already doing. And so as an artist, we, you're going to go through that because the mind's just taken over. So what I'm going through is just my mind is just, I'm, I'm getting that sense of just being uninspired, which is causing me to be lazy. The thing that I want to stay away from in all honesty, which I do when I get into moments of this, is I don't want to look at Facebook and I don't want to look at Instagram. And you say, but why not? Because it's almost just overwhelming when you're looking and you see just everything else going on. You could see someone working on a project or you could see a piece of artwork and go, oh, dang, I, 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 want, I want to do that right now or I want to draw something right now. And and yet what happens is I know that I have the other things that I have to do. So I can't spend another two, three hours and, you know, looking through the internet and doing all that. It's just, it's just not going to do anything for me at that moment. And this is my own personal thing. You may, that may work for you um, oftentimes in the past and depends on the feeling. It has worked for me. Like things that I've done in the past when I've been uninspired or I'm just feeling like, uh, I will look at things. I'll usually grab books off my shelf, um, actual physical art books that I have and, and comics or whatever I have, just, you know, flipping through those. I think that helps. Um, grabbing some, uh, you know, coffee is um, a good thing. I'm going to get a little bit of my juice back there now. Um, but doing that. But I do realize as a professional, I have to work through this because as uninspired as I am, what I've done is work that I know that I do need to do today, that I set on my calendar, that, that I have written, I, I know I gotta do it. I have made room for tomorrow. 
Why did I make room for tomorrow? Because I don't want to work on something feeling so uninspired that I'm not going to do a good job. So I know it's just today. And, and that's what you're going to find is every day, is, it doesn't last too long. Sometimes it could last a day. Sometimes it could last a week, um, what you're going through. But I've usually found you'll always, something will happen which will trigger something else, which will pull you out of that mode that you're currently in. So I know it's going to go away. How do I know? Because I've experienced it a thousand times before so I know it's gonna go away but today so I put that actual drawing aspect aside uh, for tomorrow where I'm gonna feel rejuvenated and refreshed uh, hopefully most likely I will um, and then right now just um, you, you work through the other stuff that I have to do because I'm gonna I, I got to do it again that's the professional aspect I can't just abandon it and walk away do I do I want to be living in a, in a cabin on a lake somewhere, absolutely away from everything and just draw for myself and never have to worry about um, earning money ever again. Yes, I'm going to wait probably about another uh, six years till my kids are grown up and out of the house and then you'll never see me again. Well, no, that's not true. Um, you'll see me, but I'm, I'm going to definitely, my mind is going to really slow it down when it comes to that um, later on. But so that, this is what I'm going through. It's just like my, my emotions are just kind of uh, fr frustrated in, in a realm. And um, I just want to be here live in front of you guys and... Uh, let you know what I'm gonna do to to get through it and and make my day uh, work and know that it's not the end of my life and it's not the end of you know the world and and um, you know things could be a hell of a lot worse and they're not and I look at at uh, times like this I I think about you know gratitude and things I'm grateful for which come into play and I just want to share with you I just had it, I was just looking at it. Um, I think I've shared this, you know, before, but I look at things like this. I have um, index cards that I have this list and it's a reminder why I make that is just because when I go through these, I could just look through this and go, you know what? The gratitude in a sense, you know, just waking up, you know, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, for that, you know, being able to hang out with my kids, taking them to school, walking the dogs, you know, these simple little things, working from home, uh, making my own schedule. Um, having an amazing wife, um, having healthy, you know, kids, you know, eating out. I go out and eat about three times a week. Um, and, you know, it goes on. Uh, let me see. Uh, what else do I have here? I got, oh, um, <clears throat> get to play video games during the day. <laughs> if I want to, sometimes I, I got to go do that. Uh, eat whatever foods I desire. I get to draw for a living. Um... You know, I write buy anything that looks interesting to me. Maybe I want a candy bar. I could go buy a candy bar. Um, let me see, you know, get to sell, you know, my own self-published things. Um, I, I get to teach. I, 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 I get to watch any TV show that I want. And so I have all these things, just everyday things um, that I've written down that the, the little things that I think sometimes we, we forget about. Um, and it's just that. And sometimes it's just that little bit of a, a spark that's going to just, you know, push me through to the other side. And even for me, just reading that now sort of makes me, yeah, you know what? This is, you know, life is good in, in whatever way that you, you know, think about it. Again, I'm, I'm not living in a war zone. I'm not, you know, I, I got all my, you know, faculties. I, I can see, I can hear, I could do all these things. Um, and I, I got to be grateful for those and that helps me. So anyway, I'm going to go through this day. I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to finish what I have to do. Um, and then at about five o'clock, I'm going to call it quits and, uh, that, that tomorrow be a new day. I, you know, I have a good night's sleep. Maybe I have a little glass of wine for dinner tonight and, and move on. And that's what you do. All right. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. And also just always as the new thing, just to wrap up, just about make sure that you guys are valuing your work. There's something going on right now, which the, um, by the time you see this, the, uh, the letter would have already gone through in uh, talks with copyright law, what's happening with copyright law, where it comes up all the time, every five years, uh, so where they just start really looking at copyrights and, and the worth of the copyrights and really what the government's just trying to do is basically say, hey, w w you know, we fair use in any of your work that we get to use and 
and the artist can lose their copyrights if the work's out there. If you're not registering a specific way, doing a certain thing, anyone at any time could take your artwork, they could change, adjust the color, they could adjust the format, they could remove your name and they could use it and it's a a dangerous thing a lot of artists make uh, a lot of their living off of um, residuals from their copyrights because it's no longer just a first use right there they have their artwork it's used for something um, they get paid for that but typically if it gets used again for another usage well you want to be paid for that too but the law would be coming into effect where you might work a deal with someone but after that it's fair game and anyone can use it so it can become a dangerous thing so uh, hopefully enough people have written uh, letters I posted about it through my Facebook site and um, but you know again it's a big deal it's a big thing and it's, it's just very important um, I've, I've worked many deals before in the past where of uh, this is why it's so important to understand usage make sure that whenever you're working or dealing with anyone through email ask them a simple question what is the use because it's not you don't want it to be so much work for hire where they're just buying the copyright and they can use it for anything for the studios it's a different situation unfortunately you have to um, go that route but a lot of time with individual clients, books, different things, they're using, you're being paid for that use. So I may design a t-shirt uh, design and that's what it's used for. It's just for usage of the t-shirt design. All of a sudden they start putting it on hats, they put it on mugs, they put it on other things. Well, that's another deal. And that's the things that you want to make sure that you have written in writing in, in your contracts or just an agreement between who you're working with so that everyone's clear up front what this is going to be used for so i've done that in the past where someone's wanted to use my designs for something and they used it for something specific but i maintained and held on to the copyright and i said if you wish to use this you know or own the copyright or use it for something else well then you got to pay another fee and they did so all of a sudden they get another check for uh the usage and so it's important just to uh be uh, come aware of that educate yourself you know as much as possible don't abandon it because you can make a living as an artist. You don't have to be screwed all the time. It's just the more educated and aware that you become about these sort of things um, and, and, and self-awareness and self-development and don't just wait for everyone to give you the answers. Maybe you're going to research. Go on to the, uh, the copyright um, trademark website, which is the USPTO United States Patent and Trademark Office. Again, every uh, .gov, USPTO.gov. Other countries, other places where you guys may be viewing this from, the laws are going to be different. Uh, so you need to look into that. Again, just become aware. Don't get screwed. Don't let people take advantage of you. They need you. You don't need them. It's nice to use, have them because you'll make a living as an artist. But the reality is people need you and they need your services because content is king. They need us, guys. They need all of us to do something. So just stay strong. Stay focused. Um, that's it. All right, have a great one. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.